Well, good afternoon. It is now, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks very much for um, coming to listen to this presentation. Uh, Azuma Resources, it's Wire Goal Project, a project that we're priming for development. So why would you invest in a, a Zuma today? Well, we think it represents tremendous fundamental and relative value to our peers. Um, we've got two and a half million ounce resource and that's just been increased and is likely to grow um, in coming years. We've just started this week a 40,000 metre, 40 kilometre drilling program of, um, and which is $4 million that is looking to increase those resources further, convert them to reserves and bring the project to the target that we're aiming for in about six to 12 months of 800 to 1 million ounce reserves. We've already got 624,000 ounces and just before Christmas we'll be doing an update on that and can't tell you the figure obviously, but uh, we'll be a long way towards that target of um, 900 to a million ounces. So with the drilling and these uh, announcements about this, the study, the ore reserves updates, there's a lot of investment catalysts ahead from the investors uh, point of view. We did a feasibility study a few years ago, so we've broken the back of that, so there's a very clear path to developing a project, and we hope to make our development decision pretty much in September next year. And we've got in place now a really good team, a tremendous board to see the project right through to development, and a team of people who've uh, designed and built mines before. ASX doesn't like you doing these peer review graphs now, so the way I've done that is is this way, uh, enterprise value per resource ounce. Zuma's got a, an enterprise value of just five US dollars an ounce. If you take a, um, a selection of companies that you might call your peers, they're at 28. So you can see there's a lot of uplift as we start to increase the resources, increase the reserves, and kick those, uh, this, kick those goals I'm just uh, explaining to you and I'll tell you a bit more about today. So there we are, right in the north corner of Ghana on the border with Burkina, Faso, it really is the land of the giants, West African Shield, as, as many of you probably know, it's a really good place to be if you're looking for world-class deposits. Um, we've, we've been there 10 or 11 years. Uh, all this ground that we've got is undercover, so we're actually exploring blind. And if you know, know the how to go about that, and we do, you will find those resources. In April, we reported a, a nice hole of 44 metres at 5.37 below uh, one of the pits that we designed in our former study which also now introduces a depth component to the project that we previously hadn't really chased up before. And Northern Ghana, uh, many of you are familiar with the story of Cardinal, there's ourselves and across the border into Bikina. This is a, a hotspot within West Africa itself. There's a lot of ounces being added um, to various deposits and lots of new discoveries being made. It's a very good place to be operating. We appointed two new directors, Linton Putland and Deborah Backer, to our board to see us through the development stage and into production, and they're already making a very uh, good impact on, on the company and the decision making. And what we did last year, and it's something I talked about when I was here, was we entered a joint venture with a private equity group called Ibera. Uh, Ibera are spending $17.5 million, and they can earn up to 47.5% interest in our project and they're also managing it. So we've gone from a company that was essentially myself um, to a whole team of people who have built uh, mines, um, a lot of them XFMG, uh, Andrew Forrest's uh, iron ore company, um, their exploration manager and their, their engineers and uh, they're doing a fantastic job in now taking this project through on what is we would now say is the home, home straight. So they're not earning any interest in Azuma itself. Their interest they're earning is actually in the project. And we've got a 15 million market cap and they're spending 17 and a half to get uh, less than 50%. So it gives you an idea of the, the upside we think there is to be unlocked in Azuma's uh, market cap. And also that money they're gonna spend will be adding value to the company as well. So how are we gonna increase those resources? Well, just through exploration. We've, we've got a multitude of targets to test, uh, to develop resources and then bring into the reserve category. And also within the existing pits and reserves that we have, we're able to look at now at uh, reducing our operating costs 
um, reducing our cutoff grades, cap capturing more of the gold that we already know there, and bringing some of the input inferred material into the measured and indicated into the reserve category. We've got a really good track record of building ounces and reserves, and there's no reason if there's funding available why that won't continue, and the Iberia deal brings that funding uh, into Azuma. This is a cross-section through our main flagship deposit, Kunchi, and you can see a hole that we drilled there. That's the yellow boxes at 44 metres. That was well below the pits that we designed previously. So there's an opportunity to bring those pits down and there's an opportunity to introduce that underground mining option. Today, we're drilling that hole that you can see coming in from the left there, trying to see um, if there are any depth extensions to that mineralisation. These are orogenic gold deposits. They're structurally hosted. The gold goes down to great depths. Zuma really hasn't looked much beyond the 150 to 180 metre depth because we were just really intent on getting a mine up and running and we weren't looking too much at the depth potential. That's now changing. This is a long section north to south through the Kunchi deposit. The two stars that you can see by those blue arrows are the pierce points that we're aiming the holes that we're drilling this week down to and hopefully we'll be able to prove that we've got this feeder zone there which is very typical of these sorts of deposits. On the right uh, some typical, the depths of a number of deposits of similar geology in Western Australia and in West Africa, and you can see they go down to great depths of well beyond um, one, one kilometre, and there's no reason why these projects, um, the Zuma's projects, can't do the same. And there's some cross-sections through uh, Bent Kong and Judy deposits. That 44 metres that we got in April is, um, is not untypical of what we do get there. There were some fantastic intercepts we've had over the years, and if we were getting those, I'd just wonder how the market would be reacting to those. But of course, they're, they're old news. So 40,000 metres underway, and that's going to be looking, as I said, increasing resources, increasing reserves, testing a lot of the new targets, elevating them up into the next category, bringing them right through to something that we can look at mining. So two key areas of exploration. We've got the main Wailara belt. That's 120 kilometres long. The pink that you see on there are our geochem anomalies that we've found using auger drilling. These are 90 percentile anomalies. These are very robust uh, anomalies. They're very high grade. They're not low grade. We've filtered out all of those. Those are the best anomalies. And there's a lot of really good targets um, that we've got to, to look at there. And similarly, over on uh, Wire East, again, lots and lots of targets. You can see we've built a camp there. That camp was built for the long term. And that will also become the mine camp. Last uh, few months ago, we did some VTEM, and those red circles there identified some very, very strong anomalies. The one, Eve, on the, the left there is a completely new area where we didn't even think to look for mineralisation, and the Julie Northwest one looks like a splay off our main east-west Julie deposit there. If you just flick over to the next slide, you can see all the gem, uh, geochem that we've got in that whole Wire East region, and again, over at Wire East, you can see there's, there's absolutely nothing Nothing there at all. So those are two juicy targets we're really keen to look at and we'll be drilling those hopefully before Christmas. We've got a whole uh, hierarchy of uh, prospects, targets feeding through into resources and hopefully into reserves. So this is a project with a lot of, a lot of depth to it that's going to com uh, complete uh, to, to continue to deliver. And it really is prime for development. We did our study in 2015. We've broken the back of it. We spent a lot of money putting everything together. Iberia have come in, pulled the whole study apart, put it back together again pretty much the way we did it before, except we'll be producing probably something like 115,000 ounces a year when we, when we deliver the update. Um, and a much, uh, we're just changing the front end of the project so we can get 1.8 instead of 1.2 million tonnes of the uh, per annum through the plant. We do have already our mining leases, so we're ready, we're ready to develop. Our EPA licence is... is pretty much done. We should get that early in the new year. We've uh, got power to site. The government's put in the actual power lines. We've got water. They've uh, got no communities to move. Uh, so that's a huge saving for any project in West Africa. So it really is primed for development. What we really, really need to do now is just deliver those extra reserves and we think they're in the bag. So from the investor's point of view, next announcement is that little pink box there. That's the interim update. Um, or reserve update, and we'll be giving some colour to the, what the project will look like in terms of IRR, NPV, capital costs and operating costs. Capital costs have come down, the operating costs have come down, so it's a, a number to look forward to, probably within the next three to four weeks. So why would you invest in 
the Zuma today for all the reasons that I've given to you. And I just think it's an absolute perfect time if you do want to invest in gold in West Africa. This is a, a lovely little company to get involved in and this is absolutely the time to get involved in it. Thank you very much.